Kia ora, Year 12. Here's the first question from the 2013 algebra paper. So I'm just doing achieved and merit questions in this one. I'm going to try and keep it short. Right, for those of you who are in my class, there will be a mystery song, but you've got to watch nearly to the end to get it, and the prize will be a chocolate fish. So first one to get the song, um, come and let me know or send me an email. Okay, um, the first question is a factorising one. Um, we want to factorise this quadratic, 6x squared minus 11x minus 10. Now I know some of you have got ways to do this with the calculator, but I want to go over one of the best ways to do it by hand, which is grouping, uh, which is sometimes called the AC method. Right, it's called the AC method because we use the terms from the quadratic formula, so A, B and C. So A times C is equal to negative 60. Right, I'm not going to go through why this works. Um, I've shown you that in class and it takes a, a few steps. So we're just looking at how to use it. We want two numbers that times to give me negative 60. And we want them to add to negative 11. Right, so it's just a little bit different from what we do with our first easy quadratics. So those two numbers, you need to stop and pause at this point and have a think. So they're going to be 4 and negative 15. Right, so if we look at those two, we want the 15 part to be the negative part because negative 15 plus 4 will add to negative 11. Right, and they multiply to negative 60. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take those two and we're going to break that middle term up into those. I'll do that on the next slide. Right, so we get 6x squared. What we're starting with is this expression here. So we're going to break that up into 6x squared plus 4x minus 15x minus 10. I really need to have an equal sign there. It's not going to squeeze onto my screen, so there it is. Ah, that big arrow is meant to be an equals. Let's just move that over there. Back to the pen, equals. Okay, so let's put a box around the first two and a box around the second two. We're going to factorise them separately, but we're going to have a common factor pop up. So the common factor here, we've got a 6x and we've got a 4x. So we can take out 2x, we get times 3x plus 2. So we're kind of on the lookout for that being repeated in the next one. And if that doesn't happen, we've probably mucked something up. So minus 5. 5 watts are going to give me 15x. Look, here it comes, 3x plus 2 again. So now we've got 2x times 3x plus 2. Right, 2x of those. Take away 5 of those. So we're done. That's our factorising. Finished. And in the next part of the question, we're going to have to use that to solve an equation. Alright, so we're solving 6x squared minus 11x minus 10 equals 0. We've already factorised, so it's 2x minus 5 times 3x plus 2 equals 0. So either 2x minus 5 equals 0, or 3x plus 2 equals 0. So x is equal to 5 over 2, which is 2.5, or 3x is equal to negative 2, x is equal to negative 2 thirds. So, that's my answer. X is equal to 2.5 or X is equal to negative 2 thirds. Both of those values will make this a true statement. Alright, this question is looking for a value of M that will give us only one value of X that makes this true. So what this is talking about is when will my quadratic have one root instead of two roots or none. So we're working with a problem where we've got the discriminant equaling zero. So we should write that. We need or we require b squared minus 4ac equals zero. a is 4, b is negative 8, and c is n. Alright, so we're just taking the coefficients from the equation. 
b squared minus 4ac is equal to 64 minus 4 times 4 times m. So 64, which is 64 minus, uh, sorry about that, 64 minus 16m, and that has to equal 0. So just squeezing that onto one screen, we get m equals 4. So that's my answer for that one there. Um, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's a merit question, right? I'm going to show you on the next slide another way to do that, um, which involves thinking about what pattern is going to give me this. Most of you will probably find it easiest to use the discriminant, and that was pretty fast. But I'll, I'll do another way as well. Okay, so we've got 4x squared minus 8x plus m equals 0. If that's going to have one root, what we want that's there, we want to have something like this. 4x plus 1 squared was well, definitely not going to be that. 2x minus something squared. So we think about all the patterns where we have just one root and the graph touching. It's always going to be in the perfect square form. So all we need to do here is to say, well, what value of m is going to let me write this as a perfect square? So we must have 2x minus whatever this number is. So how am I going to get the takeaway 8x? Well, I need to have half with each one. Right, so minus 4x here and minus another 4x here. So that means that I must have, that this number must be 2. So we need to be able to write this expression as 2x minus 2 squared equals 0. And we can see when we expand that out, we're going to end up with m equals 4. Um, some of you who don't mind perfect squares are probably looking at this and going, oh, I don't like it with the 2 in it, with this 2 in it here. So we could look at it one more way. I'm going to do it yet again on another slide. So here's 4x squared minus 8x plus m equals 0. And we want to be able to write this as a perfect square. Let's divide everything through by 4. We get x squared minus 2x plus m over 4 equals 0. So when can I write, write it as a perfect square? Well, I must have x minus 1 squared equals 0. Because nothing else is going to give me this pattern. Everything else will have a leftover here. So that means I've got x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals 0, which means that m over 4 equals 1 and m equals 4. Right, it's just a different way of thinking about um, the problem. Mechanically, using the discriminant is easier, but I think this version gives you a little bit more insight into what we're talking about. Okay, so we're saying that we need to have this number here must be 4. All right, one question left to go. Simplify fully this thing here. All right, let's start with the denominator. Um, it factorises very easily into x plus 2 times x minus 4. I'm going to do the numerator in two steps. This is 2 times x squared minus 4. And we should, especially at this stage of the year, spot that here we've got a difference of 2 squares. So it's 2 times x plus 2, x minus 2, over x plus 2, x minus 4. And we can divide numerator and denominator by those. So we're left with 2 times x minus 2 over x minus 4. We should also note that there are two numbers that we can't have in this expression. We can't have x is equal to negative 2, and we can't have x is equal to 4. That would mean we were dividing by 0. All right, thanks for listening. Here, And as your reward for watching, here comes the mystery song. I nearly forgot about it, but here it is.
All right, first one to figure out what that is and how it relates to exams, um, let me know and you'll get your chocolate fish.